Welcome everybody, it's Selman to this video. We are going to be talking about the new gameplay reveal for multiplayer for Call of Duty World War 2 and this thing was absolutely sick. Oh my gosh, it was so cool seeing all this stuff and it was so cool watching it live of course through the live stream because I wasn't actually there but it was really cool seeing this reveal and there was just so much stuff in here but there's kind of a problem with all the stuff in here because for the most part this all took place inside the because from the most part from what I can tell it actually almost all took place in the war mode which is still multiplayer but it's kind of a different mode because war is kind of this narrative driven multiplayer mode when you play through actual battles that happen in the past that's pretty much what war mode is so it is really cool but it kind of makes me question what's actually going to be inside the rest of multiplayer or is just going to be inside the war multiplayer because a lot of the stuff inside this we actually see doesn't actually seem like it'll fit inside normal multiplayer but maybe just the war multiplayer and i'll kind of touch on say what i think if it's going to be inside just war or both or just normal multiplayer but anyways with that out of the way let's actually get into this video so at the start of this thing we actually see a mounted weapon and like I said this might not be universal to the multiplayer and it might just be for normal multiplayer or just for war but I'm pretty confident that this is going to be inside both of them because mounted weapons were just a thing back in the early Call of Duties and I think they're going for that old Call of Duty feel so I'm pretty confident that mounted, mounted weapons are going to be sticking in. And the next one is actually one I'm pretty darn sure can only be inside war and it's the injured soldier we see on the ground here which I can't imagine inside normal multiplayer player that actually being a thing because if you're injured for a while maybe if you're using last stand that could be the case but I don't think they're actually going to have last stand but anyways it just seems like something that only fits inside the war mode after this we actually see a baton charge and this is pretty cool because they're kind of stepping away from knifing inside call of duty and normally you would hit with the back of the gun but now it looks like you're going to be able to do a baton charge and right after this we see the flamethrower looking absolutely like a monster oh my gosh it looks so cool but we are going to be able to use a flamethrower I'm not too sure how it's going to work inside multiplayer or at least normal multiplayer or if it's even going to be there but I'm pretty sure it's going to be always accessible to certain players when you are actually playing the war mode but we'll have to see when we actually get the game play sometime tomorrow but then this is something I found really cool because this guy put a suppressor on his gun mid game and that's so cool because suppressors can help you out so much and they can also mess you up so much so it's so cool that you can actually take it off mid game and put it back on mid game I think this is one of the cooler features of course it's going to make it more challenging but it's something that I thought was really cool and I think it's actually a really cool addition to the game also we see some gore right here so we are going to at least have gore maybe in the war mode but i'm pretty sure that'll carry on to both of them because i don't think we've had gore inside multiplayer in a while but it's good to see that it's actually coming back and after this this is another thing that is probably just going to be inside the war mode but we see some characters parachuting into the map i can't imagine that being your respawn but maybe it's like when you first spawn the map i wouldn't mind that if that's how you first spawn the map and that's your division you just dive into the map and that would be cool but but I can't imagine that being every single time you spawn. That'd be kind of annoying. Plus, the enemies would probably see your spawn, and that would make it even worse. But anyways, we actually see a flashbang being used here, so that's cool to see a flashbang here. And this one right here that we see is this, it's an airplane, but it's kind of shooting at this smaller ship area. So I think this ship map is going to be a normal multiplayer map because it just looks like it's too small to, to be a war mode map. So I don't think it's going to be a war mode map, but this is going to be the one of the times that we see inside this trailer that's going to be a normal multiplayer map. But the streak we see you being used here is probably going to be a kill streak. Hopefully, it's kill streak, maybe a score streak, but that's what I think it's going to be at least. We also see a trench shovel being used as a melee weapon, so we are going to get special melee weapons. Of course, I'm not too sure how we're going to be getting them. We might be getting them, or most likely we'll be getting them through supply drops, unfortunately. But anyways, we actually see this part right here. It's really interesting because we see this guy using a sniper, and this looks pretty normal. But one thing I thought it was worth pointing out is because when we see this guy aiming with the sniper, it's just a blurred around area like we see inside our newer Call of Duties but when he shoots it becomes all black like the older Call of Duties but then right after that it becomes blurred again not too sure why they actually added that but it was something that I thought was worth mentioning after this we see a bombing run so that's interesting it looks like we're going to be seeing bombing runs and I would like to say that this is a kill streak or a score streak but it might just be something specific to war of course again it could work for both like I said it'd be cool to see if these things could be constantly being used inside the war mode but inside normal multi player their score streak so that'd be cool to see that if everything could be used between both multiplayer modes but some will be used as score streaks in traditional multiplayer and of course in war they'll always be accessible because that's what war is we also see another thing similar to the parachuting in but we see soldiers arriving on a truck of course this could be how war is how you die and have to come in every single time it could be something like that or it could just be how you spawn to the map the first time when you're playing multiplayer map because i can't imagine again you spawning in in a truck every single time but it'd be 
really cool if they kind of used all these abilities for both modes like i kind of said with the score sheets but even use these things just if you're first flying to the map you could just go arrive in the truck in traditional multiplayer but inside war it's always spawned in like that it would just be cool i think that'd be one of the cooler things they could do with this just reuse these things because it would just make the game that much more authentic and oh my gosh it looks so beautiful but anyways i'm getting off track right now but then we see something really really interesting but we actually see this anti-aircraft shoot and then we see a plane crash it looks like it permanently damages the map when it crashes again this is probably going to be the war mode thing so it's probably going to relate only to war but that is so weird i've never seen that in call of duty something permanently damaging the map of course i think we had a couple of things like that inside call of duty ghost but we never actually seen anything proper like this before when you actually blow things up they stay blown up and it actually destroys the map which is kind of a battlefield thing but it's cool to see that at least inside the war mode and after this we see another example of permanently damaging the map when we actually see some people blow a hole in this wall right here and again this looks so cool but oh my gosh i just hope it kind of stays to only the war side of multiplayer and not the traditional because i can understand why you want war to be all like this and i really am looking forward to war but again call of duty multiplayer is call of duty multiplayer after this we see a tank of course i really hope this stays only inside war or maybe it could be a score streak or a kill streak inside traditional multiplayer but of course we'll see for sure is tomorrow when all the gameplay comes out when everybody's playing at e3 after this we see some tnt and it looks really powerful it looks like a timer tnt so that that looks pretty cool but then i saw something really surprising really close to the end but there's actually dolphin diving returning inside this and i'm not exactly a fan of dolphin diving over the slide i really like the slide but i guess it'll be fine I'll be, i won't mind going back to dolphin diving either but it's just something to point out and right at the end we actually see some dual wielding pistols which is really cool to see because we do know we're going to have those akimbo weapons inside this game so that is actually cool to see and that's about it for all the gameplay trailer we got today of course tomorrow like i said multiple times already but we will be seeing full gameplay tomorrow of course i'll bring you videos talking about all that stuff when we get it but that's about it for this video if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and thumbs up if you guys want to stay tuned for content similar to this go ahead and subscribe but i'm going to go and i will catch you guys on my next video